Hi, welcome back to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Mr. Joshua, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year exam question. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 1. The diagram shows Peter's family tree. The members of the family are either tongue rollers or non-tongue rollers. And the question is asking, which one of the following statements about the family tree is correct? So before we even analyze the options, let me ask you, has anyone heard of a family tree before? Some yes, some no, never mind. Those who haven't heard of what a family tree is, let me explain to you. A family tree just shows you different relationships inside a family, and sometimes they also like to see which people have a certain characteristic, which people do not have a certain characteristic. So if we take a look at this family tree over here, you'll notice that it's separated into three levels. So each level actually represents a different generation. So let's focus on these people at the bottom of the family tree. Do you think they belong to the youngest generation or the oldest generation? Very good, these people belong to the youngest generation. Now, as we go up the family tree, we reach the people at the top level. Now, the people at the top level, do they belong to the oldest or the youngest generation? Very good, they belong to the oldest generation. So if you take a look at this family tree, you'll notice that there's only one person labeled, and that is Peter. So I'm going to highlight Peter in pink. Now, if you see, Peter is connected to two people just beside him. Who are these two people? Good, these are Peter's siblings. But how do you know these are Peter's siblings? You'll notice that Peter is also connected to two people in the generation above him. Who are these two people? These are his parents. So this confirms that these two people beside him are his siblings. Now what about the person on his left? Is this the sister or the brother? Very good, this is the sister. So those who are unable to understand why this is the sister, never mind. Let's take a look at the key on the right. If the person is a circle shape, she is a female. And what happens if the person is a square shape? That person is a male. So with that knowledge, who is this person on the right? This is the brother, because he is a square shape. So let's go up one generation. We know these two people highlighted in pink are his parents, correct? So let me test you. Who is this person on the left? Very good, this is the father, because he is square shaped. And who is this person on the right? This is the mother, because she is a circle shape. Now, if you take a look at this diagram, you'll notice that they give you the family tree for the father's side, as well as the family tree for the mother's side. So let's focus on the father first. I'm going to highlight him in green. You'll notice that the father is also connected to three people just like this. Who are these three people highlighted in green? These are his siblings. And are they his sister or brother? Good, all of these people are his sisters. So how would Peter address these three people highlighted in green? Peter will call them his aunties. Let's go up one more generation. These two people highlighted in green. How do you think Peter would address these people? Peter would address these people as his grandparents. So now we're done analyzing his father's side. Let's take a look at his mother's side. I'm going to highlight his mother in yellow just like this. If you see, his mother is connected to one person on her right. Who is this person on her right? This person is her brother. Peter would call him his uncle. Now let's go up one more generation. How would Peter address these people? Peter would address these people as his grandparents. So over here, we see that Peter has two sets of grandparents. One from his father's side, the other one from his mother's side. Now before analyzing the options, if you take a closer look at the family tree, some people are shaded, some people are unshaded. What does this mean? Those people who are shaded, they are considered tongue rollers. And those people who are unshaded, they're considered non-tongue rollers. So now we're done analyzing this family tree. Let's take a look at the options and find out which one is correct. Option one, Peter's parents are tongue rollers. Now remember, Peter's parents are these two people that I'm pointing in purple over here. Now, in order for them to be tongue rollers, should they be shaded or unshaded? They should be shaded. But in the diagram, are they shaded? No, they are unshaded. So is it true that Peter's parents are tongue rollers? No, not true. In fact, they are actually non-tongue rollers. So option one definitely cannot be the correct option. 
Option two, Peter and his siblings are all tongue rollers. Now, Peter and his siblings are over here. So if it's true that they all should be tongue rollers, they should all be shaded. But is it true that they are all shaded? No, they're not all shaded. Who is unshaded over here? The sister. So this means that the sister is a non-tongue roller. So this statement is false because not all of them are tongue rollers. So option two is wrong. Option three, both of Peter's grandfathers are tongue rollers. So let's take a look at the diagram over here. Let's focus on his father's side first. Who is his grandfather? The person on the left or the right? Very good, the person on the right. Now let's focus on his mother's side. Who is his grandfather? The person on the left or the right? Very good, the person on the right. How do you know? Because both of these people are square-shaped, meaning that these are his grandfathers. So, in order for them to be tongue rollers, they should be shaded, correct? But over here, are they shaded? No, they are unshaded. So both of Peter's grandfathers, in fact, are actually non-tongue rollers. So option three is definitely wrong. Option four, Peter's father has a sister who is a non-tongue roller. So let's go back to the diagram. Who are his father's sisters? They are actually these three people that I'm pointing in yellow. So is it true that he has a sister, meaning one sister who is a non-tongue roller? If you take a look at this diagram, you'll notice that one of his sister is unshaded, and I'm going to point to her in black, just like this. So because she is unshaded, she is a non-tongue roller. So is it true that Peter's father has a sister who is a non-tongue roller? Yes, this is true. So option four is correct. So therefore, the only correct option for this question is option number four. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Found this video useful? Give us a thumbs up and check out more by clicking the links here. You can also subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Until next time, stay curious inside and limitless outside. Bye!